Hello guys, today we are reviewing Jurassic Park 2, or Jurassic Park The Lost World. Jurassic Park The Lost World is the sequel to Jurassic Park. And it's the second installment in the entire franchise. Jurassic Park 2 is kind of the more or less talked about of the franchise. Considering that it's the sequel and not many people... That's a lot of people that made less money than the first film. It made $618 million. It's still nothing to laugh at, but it still didn't make the $1 billion as the first film. But, now let's go to... But before this, there's going to be some spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. On the... For, on our soil, another island off of Costa Rica, a girl named Kathy wanders, wanders around and survives the attack by a swarm of small raptor creatures. Her parents file a lawsuit against a generic company Inzen, who is now headed by Hammond's nephew, Peter Woldorf, who is very important to the movie. Plans to use Isle Server to alleviate the financial losses imposed by incident caused by Jurassic Park four years ago. The acts kind of find that the movies can take place at the same time when it comes out in feeders. I'm just saying, Madison, Dr. E, and Malcolm meets Hammond at his mansion, and Hammond explains that Isle saw her was abandoned years years earlier during the hurricane. This is where Enzen created the dinosaurs before we did the Jurassic Park on Isle Newbrow. Hammond hopes to stop Enzen by sending a team to Isle saw her to document the dinosaurs, thus creating a smart public team against human interference. And who survived the Jurassic Park disaster after all his girlfriend, Dr. Sal Harding, is a part of the team is already on there. Ian goes to get the, on the island only to retrieve her. Ian meets his teammates, Eddie Cow, actually that's a real last name, an equipment scientist and engineer, Nick Van Owen, a real, man, a real documentation and activist. After receiving, uh, uh, receiving arriving on the island, to locate Sarah and discover that Kelly was in the base, which she went away and though anyways. They watch as another Enzen team, the one that is made by Dr. E. and Malcolm. Discover that Oh well, not, not Dr. E. and Malcolm. The guy who is um Hammond's son. Sorry about that, um I read the previous part of the plot, so sorry about that. After arriving and an island, they okay. Let's go back to where we were. They won't have the, the other bad guys come. Robert Book and Rural attempt to capture several dinosaurs. Warren Timbo, the guy, the hunter guy, they get um Warren's hunting partner and friend AJ Ritter. They hope to get T-Rex in by ruling by the injured baby. We all know what basically happens afterwards. The guy freed the T-Rex. This is the dumbest decision of the movie. So I don't like this movie this much. The guy, Nick, frees the T-Rex. And him and Kelly with Eddie to try to he try to hear what the T-Rex has come. They get almost pushed off the cliff. The T Rexes put they all they kept trying to come back and back. The other guy tried to help them. Other guy gets eaten by the two T Rexes. That's basically the entire scene. They try to run away from the T Rex. The guy other guys find them and save them from the T Rex. And then they know that the T Rex is gonna eventually gonna come back because they know they killed them. And basically that's the entire T Rex scene in a nutshell. That's the same I remember the most from the movie, of course. Then some other guy. That was what ha okay, what happens after that part of course. And the guys save him. And then of course the equipment and vehicles are destroyed. The team of the search for the old Indian radio station on foot. The diet are being watched and the force gets get killed by a bunch of dinosaurs. A bunch of small con Raptors called Comsomachus, which is also the same dinosaur that almost killed that little girl. The next night, the T Rexes find the group's camp. They have followed the infant bus nets under the cell jacket 
Neo T Rex chases the group to a waterfall cave. While Warren tranquilizes the male, AJ and the remain is then team killed by raptors. While fleeing through the field, Nick runs through the <coughs> communication center. At the end, sends local village to call for rescue. After the other people reach the village, they evade the raptors until the helicopter arrives to transport them. Oh, yeah, there's also the guy who gets killed because he, a snake got in him. They transport the T Rex off the island. The T Rex is not in San Diego, but the T Rex is actually still alive. And they accidentally released the T Rex as well and goes on a rampage. The whole house scene happens and they just start killing people. And basically, they, the other guys want to get the T Rex back to the big T Rex. Old arrow, the parent, his, the parent T Rex, the bad guys try to intervene, but it's trapped in the cargo held by the old T Rex, and is killed by the baby T Rex before the arrow could escape again. Sarah tranquilizes it while Ian hold, closes the cargo to hold doors. T Rex is escorted back to the island and haven't saved the American coastal weakers. They crowd the island at the nature preserve, securing the island from any interference. While Ian is safe at home with his family, and the T Rex is seen grazing from their infant, while Hammond informs the wife will find a way. Was this film as great as the first film? No, no, it's not as great as the first film, of course not. The first film was basically a masterpiece. This film is basically. It's like comparing the. There are sometimes sequels that are completely better than the first film, like Alien and Alien to Terminator and Terminator 2. The Lost World and Jurassic Park is nothing like those films. Sometimes sequels are worse than the film. The film is not bad at any means, of course. Jurassic World, the Lost World still has its good parts, but has its bad parts. Such as the guy taking the baby T-Rex to the truck to basically tend to basically try to heal, put bandages on it, and try to heal it. But they don't realize that the T-Rex has parents. Okay, the T-Rex has parents and it could kill you. T-Rexes are nothing to mess with. Especially, it doesn't matter what animal take the babies. If the B-Rex knows that the heads are gone, like any parent would do, they will go after and try to kill them. Unless the dimensional dons from Rocky of Monsters, which will kill their own babies. But that's a topic for another day. Jurassic World Park 2 is not as great as the first film, of course it's not. There are many film sequels that are considered worse than the first films. Okay, bad film sequels. Film sequels that are worse than the first films. Worse than the original movie sequels that are... Which then means they don't have to be bad. But there are lots of bad sequels to good movies or even masterpieces. Like the 15 Terminator movies they released. Sometimes, oh, but Jurassic Park 3 may be next. Jurassic Park 2 is an underrated film, of course. It's not as bad as everyone makes it out, as some people make it out to be. It's really because... It's really a 7 out of 10 for me. It's not the best film, but it's not the absolute worst film ever made. So, Jurassic Park 2 is a good film in the book. It has a, it doesn't have a completely bad plot, unlike Batman vs. Superman. So, it will be the third of the four, fil four films that I've ever viewed. Four being Batman v Superman. Three being Jurassic Park 2, two being the first Jurassic Park, and number one, of course, being Infinity War. The Jurassic Park movies were kind of, and of course, the and of course, I am kind of being a little biased here because I do like dinosaur movies. Dinosaur movies are basically the. I'm surprised there isn't any more dinosaur movies. Is either this or it was either this or The Land Before Time. Which one would I rather watch? Yeah, the one with dinosaurs eating people. I don't want to watch Rand Before Time, especially if it's 15,000 sequels they made to the Rand Before Time. I'll make a different rant on that, on that series some other day. But Jurassic Park 2 is actually the old Jurassic Park films are good, but I think it's the least good in the series. It's still a solid 7 out of 10. 
even people one that one that people think is the worst, I think it's good called Jurassic Park Three which will be next. Oh good, here comes it. Here comes the joy. So if you like the video, just give it a like. But there were some hiccups with the video, so it's not the greatest video ever. The f the first Jurassic Park review was better. I just read the script a tiny bit wrong. That's basically all. But overall, Jurassic Park 2 is a good movie.